I read somewhere that setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the things you might need to know about setting goals. We're going to talk about the steps you can take and also the method you can use in order to set an effective plan that can help you achieve your goal. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, let's head in. What's up guys, welcome back. And if this is our first time meeting, which might probably be, my name is Harris Kari and I'm a Nigerian based entrepreneur who is obsessed with trying the impossible. So on this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship and also brand and personal development. If those are things that you would love to be a part of, consider subscribing to the channel so we'll carry on together. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So when it comes to goal setting, we need to remember that the goal is to be better than yesterday. So we need to take it one step at a time. So here are some of the five steps that I personally use in order to achieve a certain goal. Number one, dream big. When it comes to goal setting, you need to think out of the box. You need to think of something you've always wanted to do, something kind of difficult, but also achievable. Number two, set goals. So you decide what you want to achieve. Number three, make a plan. So you need to create and design a way on how you want to achieve your goal. Number four, stick to the plan. It's that simple. Number five, which is the most important one, take action. I repeat, take considerable action in order to achieve your goal. So those are the five steps that you need to take in order to set and achieve your goal. But as the saying goes, failing to plan is like planning to fail. Without a strategic and well sketched out plan, you might not be able to make it or maybe find it very difficult to make it there. So in order to get there, you might need a method or maybe a way, a kind of trick you would need to apply to achieve your goal. So this is a certain planning method that I personally use or maybe kind of recently started using anyway. And that is the SMART plan. As you might have guessed already, SMART is an acronym for certain words that kind of governs the whole planning method. S, which stands for specific. Go very specific, narrow down, and make your plan as clear as possible. M, measurable. Make sure your plans can be measured. The most important thing is to make your plan a long-term plan so you have enough time to learn and grow while you're at it. And along the way, make sure you celebrate every small milestone you hit so you can keep yourself motivated. A, attainable. Make sure your goal is realistic and achievable. But on no circumstance should you make your goal easy because easy tends to get boring. I hate easy. I always say it in my videos. I prefer challenging. You know, when you set an easy goal and you achieve it like within a month or so, you kind of go back to square one, you know, boredom, depression, nothing to pursue again. So I would say make your goals challenging and also achievable are relevant. The plan must be relevant to your goal. Don't pursue something just because you think it's cool or maybe nice, but doesn't really add any value to your goal. You want my advice? Drop it. And finally, T, time frame. When there's something like a time limit surrounding your goal, it will create this sense of urgency in you and you will try your best to see you finish whatever you set yourself to do before time runs out. And that, my friends, is the method I use, the SMART plan. And one last tip. When you set your goal, make sure that you write it down and also sketch your plan on something you can see. Don't just say it. Make sure you write and sketch it down. There's a very important reason to that because anything you write physically that you can see and touch gives you this kind of feeling that there is something that I have to do. But if you just imagine it in your mind, you might be like, I might have something that I want to do, but I don't think it's that important because you haven't really written it or maybe sketched it on anything so it doesn't really feel that important to you and in the next video i'm going to share with you my own goals and i'm going to use this method as an example to show you how i plan to use the method to achieve my goals if you think you want to come back and watch the next video and watch the example of how i set my goals based on this method consider subscribing to the channel so next time when i post the video you'll get the notification so before the next video let's talk about this question of the day what goal are you planning to set for yourself and how are you planning to achieve that goal let me know in the comment section and we'll talk about it in the next video make sure it's not easy but realistic and achievable so just go out there and create but don't hate see you in the next one peace